Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for October 23rd of 2022 well, it is titled Milky Way and Zodiacal Light over Australian Pinnacles. So what do we see here? Well, we see an image taken from Australia with the pinnacles in the foreground, which are some unusual rock formations made of ancient seashells. And how they actually formed is a very interesting thing and perhaps a good point of research that we're trying to figure out exactly how these may have formed. Now we can also see a number of things up in the sky and let's go ahead and label them to make it a little bit easier here. We see the pinnacles labeled in the foreground and the arc up above is that of our Milky Way galaxy our own spiral galaxy as we see it from within. Now because of the way the image is taken and we're looking at this uh, this we see the Milky Way as an arc because we're looking at the celestial sphere and as we look out on a spherical surface uh, something very large and long is going to appear to take a curved shape. So we see that even though the Milky Way is actually a very flattened disk and we see many of the bright star clouds and the dark dust clouds that make up our Milky Way galaxy. Now we also see a number of stars and a couple of planets present here as well. The stars we see off towards the left is Alpha Centauri, part of the nearest star system to Earth, only a little over four light years away from us. And down towards the bottom, just above the one of the spires, uh, is Spica, one of the other bright stars in the sky. And off to the right hand side, kind of hidden behind the cloud a little bit, is the bright star Vega. And if we go back to Spica, we actually see the planet Jupiter just a little bit to the right of it. And then up above, just below the arc of the Milky Way galaxy, is the planet Saturn. So we see Jupiter and Saturn, the two largest planets in the solar system, as well as three bright stars. Now the final thing labeled here is what is called the zodiacal light. Zodiacal light is light from within our solar system and it's actually caused by dust within our solar system. So there's lots of little dust particles within the plane of our solar system and as light from the sun travels out, some of it is reflected back to Earth by those dust particles. So what we're seeing is those dust particles reflecting that light back to Earth, making it making this glow that we can see in the sky here. So not only do we see the glow of the cities over in the uh, around the horizon, we see the glow of the Milky Way up above, but crossing through that we also see the glow of the zodiacal light within our own solar system. So that was our picture of the day for October 23rd of 2022. It was titled Milky Way and Zodiacal Light over Australian Pinnacles. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture previewed to be red Andromeda. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.